dear participants and viewers assalamu alaikum eid mubarak uh, this is mb sharia parvez welcoming you all in our live international webinar volume 4 presented by independent perception and research hub bangladesh this is an educational public webinar so each and every person feel free join with us independent perception and research hub is an educational and uh, resource and consultation center for the talent researcher and the educational scholars for sharing their perception on different issues and facts the main goal of iprh is enlightening the independent perception of individual thoughts by the knowledge sharing providing research news and training brainstorming and research project consultation with innovative ideas and organized talk show with different resource person from different area around the world so interested true researcher and scholars are most welcome to join with iprh and share your innovative ideas and research and contribution to this society and the world as a whole because iprh is always believes that knowledge is power on our today's topic for the international webinar volume 4 is women youth and empowerment vision 2030 the empowerment and the autonomy of women and the improvement of their political social economic and health status is highly important in in itself in addition it is essential for the achievement for sustainable development the fulfill of the participation and partnership of both women and men is rigorous in the productive and reproductive life including share their responsibility for the care for nurturing of the children and maintaining of the household in all parts of the world women are facing threat of their lives health well-being as a result of being overburdened with work and their lack of power and influence in the most region of the world women receive less formal education than men and at the same time women own knowledge ability and coping mechanism often go under recognized the power relation that impeded women's attainment of health and fulfillment life operating at many level of society from the most personal to the high highly public achieving the challenges required policy and program action that will improve women access to secure the livelihood and economic resource and it will extremely responsibility to our us that we regard to the housework and remove the legal impedition of their participation in the public life and raises social awareness to effective program of education and mass communication so it is a very much important issues and for the 2030 the sdg goal also related with women empowerment also now in our today's webinar we are invited the most talented and expert uh, women from around the world they are very much expert in their field now they are uh, today's uh, webinar they will share their perception about this theme and we have our guest speaker with us farhana hawk and also professor hayat husti and also her excellency ambassador dr jessilin estra argabayo also we have Aston Professor Dr. N. Kaldu Lulas, and also we have our session chair, Dr. Nuriani Yusu. So now I will invite our first speaker uh, for uh, sharing their perception. Before that, dear viewers and attenders, please 
fill up your registration form for your e certification and if you have any kind of relevant question feel free ask your question in the comments box please mention the speaker name your name your current status and designation our resource speaker will answer your question at the end of the session so let's welcome our first speaker farhana hawk welcome our first speaker farhana hawk uh, do you hear me yeah uh, can okay. you hear me yes 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 i am i am hearing you clearly farhana hawk is the phd research fellow in the university of brunei darussalam but he is the uh, uh, expert and um, uh, her country is bangladesh so i give you eid mubarak and welcome to this uh, webinar so if you want to show your slides you can share it now please yes uh, so first of all assalamu alaikum and eid mubarak to everyone and i am very grateful to uh, Professor Shahriar, CEO of uh, IPRH. This is my first time. I am you know, I am going to deliver my speech under your you know uh, organization. So uh, let's get started and uh, share my slides. Uh, so this is my slides. I don't know how to. This is my first time. Yes, yeah, in this uh, platform. Uh, Yes, uh, so sharing sure. the sharing option and is share your screen. Okay. There is coming that select window or something yes 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 so so, so select the window start. for for sharing your slides yes okay so this is like firefox i have to allow and share the uh, yes. powerpoint yes, yes. okay let's see if i can not this but Slides. So yeah, let's try because you just I'm share sorry. your window. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I I'm trying. Uh, trying. Uh, yeah, I'm trying from my PC. So. Where is that? Okay, let's try this if I can. It's still not here. I'm trying to show the slides. I don't know why. Uh, you you just open your slide at first and then uh, uh, open it from the slideshow. Yes. So you get it? It's uploading still. OK. So uh, uh, if you want to uh, present uh, your slides in later, I am uh, inviting the next speaker so that you just uh, so sort out this thing. No problem. Yeah, OK. OK, fine. So uh, there will be a, a technical problem. 
So uh, and now uh, I would like to uh, welcome our uh, next speaker, Professor Hayat Husini, uh, the senior professor. So please, ma'am, uh, I am inviting you in our uh, webinar. Yes, please unmute yes. yourself. Yes, yes. yes. So, <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, it's okay. So, ma'am, your slide is almost okay. So, I am just yes. showing you slides now. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, just uh, put on the slideshow. Yes. Uh, I should put it on full screen. Yes. Full screen. Your your full full screen, the slideshow. Yes, yeah. full screen. Your your slides are okay. We we just uh, clearly see your slides. Yes. But uh Okay, should yes. I read? You, yes. It's okay. You can start. Yes, please. The floor is. Yes, thank you. But uh, sorry, uh, Doctor uh, Professor Shariar, I should uh, uh, re. So you just share your slides again, please. Yes, I will. Okay, please. Yes. Yes, it's okay. So now. It's visible now, yes. Yes, yes, it's visible. Uh, Please, the floor. I'm uh, Professor Hayat Hassini from Tunisia. Uh, I am grateful to to Professor Sharia for inviting me today to share uh, my uh, ideas about uh, the meaningful topic, uh, women's uh, education, social, and economic empowerment. So... Should I prayer, uh, uh, introduce myself or it's okay? I can move to the slides to, to talk about uh, my topic. Just in briefly, briefly, I, I am Professor Hayat Hassini. I am advanced uh, digital educator, Microsoft Innovative Educator Certified, Wakelet Educator Certified, Mode Educator Certified, Kemi. Uh, certified Minecraft uh, Educator Certified Global Mentor. Um, also, um, uh, top uh, 10 American Cup alumni member. Uh, I'm ambassador in many um, uh, international uh, organizations and I teach English. I involve with my students in many uh, projects. I I, I love education and as educator, I uh, always uh, do my best to, uh, to, to be innovative, creative, and um, especially nowadays with um, uh, ITC. Uh, I use uh, ITC in my classroom uh, and I believe in professional development as well, uh, women empowerment and uh, youth empowerment too. We know that woman is the the flower of spring, the girl of the world, and the soul of life. The woman is the abundant source of love, happiness, joy, and pleasure. Woman is a grandmother, mother, sister, daughter, and wife too. Women is empowerment. 
uh, women are the heart of family, cultural health, and social balances. They play a central role in health, development, and education. As such, their empowerment is essential factor of peace and social, economic, and environmental environmental progress. You know, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Education is a means of empowering women. Education is one of the pillar, pillars of the renaissance, development and progress of societies and nations. A girl has a right to learn and importance the importance of her education is us. It is reflected in her as it's also reflected in her society. Education contributes to the preservation of cultures and the stability of families. Through educational curricula, values and concepts that emphasize the role of women and the importance of their participation in building society. Education is the greatest means of achieving the humanity of women and empowering them to promote their role in community services. Education is a legitimate, legitimate right. Uh, the importance of education lies on the role of enabling and realizing other rights as the individual cannot know his rights without ad adequate and appropriate education. Enabling women to be educated raises their awareness, understanding and readiness to bring about change in this, their society. By empowering them, discrimination and inequality in relationships, violence against them and skills and knowledge must be available to integrate women into development in addition to a set of mechanisms and programs that enable them to, uh, to overcome obstacles. No, women is social empowerment. Women are half of society and they are an essential empower, um, a component of society. They have rights and duties. Women are the key of, to achieving sustainable development. If we want to achieve real sustainable development in the long term, we must address the interwined Wanted issues of women in all fields. Principles of women empowerment. I will just share some of them. Self-reliance. This is through developing uh, the personal cap capabilities of women to be able to face their problems on their own and according to the possibilities available to them. Participation is the one of the most important principles of empowerment as it builds the basis of women's participation, awareness of their problems and solving them based on their capabilities and investing their resources. Social justice. Social justice by defending uh, deprived individuals in an objective manner away from personal space to achieve justice and equality. Here, women's empowerment goals uh, are achieving equality between women and men, uh, equal gender equality, Inclusion of women in health, educational, and social activities to enhance their participation in development. Changing social and professional relationships to more stability, balance, experience, and efficiency. Benefits. The benefits of empowering women. Uh, investing in women's economic empowerment is the surest route to gender equality. 
poverty economic growth. It also restricts women's access to economic assets such as land and loans. How women can contribute to development, ensuring uh, the economic and financial independence of women is a decis decisive and imperative step. It's necessary to create literacy and training centers, in particular in management and in the profession of self-entrepreneurship. These centers should be linked to saving and credit structures. Promote the economic empowerment of women. All over the world, women are resilient and an astute economic agent. They work tirelessly to break down persistent barriers to gender equality to ensure the health, education, and economic security of their families. Data shows that women's full participation in the economy improves business performance and resilience in addition to supporting economic growth and the adoption of more ambitious development goals in many countries around the world. It's before for us to offer women environments to their economic development. Empowering women nurtures thriving economics and supports productivity and growth equality between men and women as partner and beneficiaries of development, human rights, humanitarian action, peace and security. The role of women in society. Women have a great role in society just like men. They participated throughout ancient and modern times in various fields and had many other roles as poet, queen, jurist, warrior, artist, therapists and others. Perhaps their primary role is building and creating and caring of her family as she is a mother who bears the responsibility of raising generation and a wife. She bears the motto of managing, managing the home and its economy. Uh, the role of women in education First, in the family, the mother is the source of care and affection, as several studies have proven that the child needs the care and attention of his mother more than anything else, especially in the early stages of his life. Second, the mother is considered the, the only teacher for her child as her educational function affects him deeply in himself. The role of women in medicine. Women have an important role in the field of health care since ancient times. And today women are competing with men in this field. They have proven their worth and efficiency as today we find female doctors who run hospitals in successful manners. The role of women in agriculture. Women have a key role in agricultural and economic activities in developing countries. They work as farmers, producers, or agricultural crops, traders, or marketers. Here, the role of women in the armed forces. Women contribute to the armed forces in several fields, such as administration, surveillance, health, and planetary studies. The number of women in the armies has become close to the number of men, but these percentages were very from vary from country to another between 5% and 25%. Women can lead the role of women in politics. Women can be leaders in the progress of change 
but they do not have the same opportunities as men in politics. During, maybe we, I can um, uh, talk about women and COVID-19 effects. During the pandemic, who, uh, whose um, reper repercussions uh, have affected all areas, the economic and social pressures and on women have increased. Existing gender gaps have increased the negative effects of this pandemic on them. Some studies have shown that women bear the brunt of the pandemic, especially when the conditions of the disease are accompanied by poverty and, and disability. Considering me, I will talk about uh, just uh, I'm empowered, empowered woman. Uh, I was born and raised in an education family. My sister's brother and I were raised on principles and values. We are a close-knit family. My parents just want us successful, and yes, we were. Uh, Dad and mom believed in the importance of gender equality. They listened to our opinions, uh, a, a girl like a boy, and that's since we were a child. All of us uh, graduated from the most powerful universities in Tunisia and France. We work at, um, now in the sector of education, um, and we are bidding the future generation. We are very successful in we, we owe this success to our parents who bring the word in our hands. I have been honored nationally, Arab and European, as well as internationally on many occasions for what I have um, provided in the field of education. Uh, really, I uh, thank you for uh, your attention. Hope uh, I can uh, give something about women empowerment in general. Thank you. Professor thank Davis. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Hayati. And you have a great presentation here. And uh, I think uh, you are almost covering every important issues that are actually necess uh, necessary for the women development. And also you are also touched the AIDS disease uh, of the yes. vision of 2030. And you also yes. represent yourself uh, being an empowered woman. So yes, uh, this you. is our this is our glad to uh, see your presentation here. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, we will invite you again for the question and answer session. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So dear viewers, uh, now uh, I would like to invite our uh, next speaker, uh, Farhana Hawk. Uh, I hope that now uh, she is uh, uh, technically uh, solve uh, her problem. So uh, Farhana, uh, do you uh, hear my voice? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm. I'm hearing you, but we are not seeing you. So please uh, open your uh, cam, and uh, this is. I think this is your slides. Uh, maybe it's coming. Is it now? Okay. Yes, it is. Uh, it is okay now, but uh, uh, you are invisible. Okay. So please uh, yeah. open your cam, please. Yes. Can you see now? So yes, now we see it clearly, and the floor is yours. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for uh, inviting me here in this great uh, webinar. So this is the thing. Uh, uh, I think yes. So uh, first of all, I would like to talk about that. Can women's empowerment contribute to community development? So this is the question uh, we should ask to the society. So 
uh, based on this question, we should answer the other questions gradually. So empowering women uh, means uh, empowering women is the fundamental right of women. Uh, they can have equal rights to participate in education, society, economics, and politics. They are allowed to have higher education and treated in the way like men. As uh, previously uh, sister uh, said, professor, that women can also do everything like men uh, if they are uh, educated properly and determined. <clears throat> women can also contribute like men so women must possess a self worth confidence and freedom to choose their uh, needs and requirements uh, still women are paid less uh, expected to cook and restricted by their family members to overcome these situations and to have an independent role in society women's empowerment is needed so uh, to come out from these you know household things this is a stereotype uh, uh, ideas like women should cook and take care of uh, family members uh, but they can't go outside and uh, they can't go outside for work like men so we have to come out from this stereotype uh, conception or ideas <clears throat> first of all so able to solve uh, unemployment. So unemployment is one of the common problems that can be seen in the developing society. The research says that half of the population consists of women. Unemployment of women and unequal opportunities in the place of work can be eradicated with the help of women empowerment. So if we... Uh, uh, So know about uh, their intelligence. They should know about their own intelligence. They should be dedicated and confident about what they are doing. Like women's empowerment plays a vital role. Advantaged on. So examine their talent. This is very important thing that uh, they should be uh, recognized or acknowledged uh, in society. And uh, especially from uh, home, uh, they sh should uh, higher education the only way to overcome this problem is by knowing about their talents that they have also the talent besides men uh, so uh, the parents should be open-minded should uh, be very helpful friendly like uh, they are doing for their uh, male children uh, so they should uh, uh, you know inspire them uh, their uh, female children that they have also the talents uh, so we should also give them scope to you know, spread their wings and spread the wings of talents. If they are allowed to take the responsibilities as men, they can showcase their talents to society. So this is the thing. If the parents, they can allow the daughters uh, outside uh, to you know, show their talents, then a society will know and acknowledge that, okay, women can also do like men in in different uh, areas like nowadays uh, not uh, recently but uh, since long uh, women are also you know uh, they are also pilot like men they are riding plane and everything doing as i am in brunei <coughs> my uh, research is uh, basically based on women empowerment so i am seeing that in brunei most of the women are driving car 
so in uh, many subcontinent countries it's very rare that we are seeing women as a driver so So women empowerment is one of the key terms for the overall development of society. It is, uh, it is nothing wrong in taking part in the development of society. In the uh, corporate world, women are uh, playing several roles uh, in fields like engineering, medical, and so on, as I said, uh, like uh, pilot, they are like doing job as a pilot as well like men, it is very challenging job as we know. So decent and product, uh, productive work for Uh, empo uh, employment rights for women in society. So some uh, major steps we have to follow that uh, assessing the uh, situation of women's participation increased, but still not equal to men. Uh, still it's processing and developing. Assessing the situation uh, of gender gaps between men and women participation is still uh, persists. Uh, assessing the situation of wage gaps uh, uh, between men and women in, in in workplace and still in all regions of the world it's persist accessing uh, assessing the situation women is still dominating regional percentage of uh, employment in informal economy from total employment uh, percentage of women workers in the informal economy so sub saharan africa latin america asia uh, North Africa. So these are the ratio I just uh, write it down. So these are the things. So assessing the situation, uh, uh, the empowering, influencing factors. So global economic integration, uh, liberalization, trade and investment, labor market flexibility, the care economy, feminization of migration, uh, HIV AIDS. Addressing gender equality in employment, good practices from the uh, national level. So empowering, uh, uh, improving conditions in the informal economy, national policy for street vendors in India. This is, I'm talking about different countries' initiatives. So <laughs> voluntary scheme for health and uh, uh, and information economy in Costa Rica and Thailand, affirmative action to combat discrimination, uh, women in public workers in Madagascar, civil service gender and race equality quota in Brazil, terms of trade, improved terms of trade for uh, coca beans uh, cooperatives in Ghana, labor uh, inspect, uh, inspections and complaints uh, mechanism and some other uh, major steps uh, taken by different country i would not talk about all those things it will take time so these are the things that uh, uh, different countries are taking initiatives in different way to empowering uh, uh, women in employment or business sector so what should be the key policies improving access to training uh, employment services and markets, uh, provision of uh, uh, quality public services for all people, including education and training, uh, which is essential to expanding women's opportunities uh, to participate in the economy and in promoting their social inclusion. Women uh, accesses to the new opportunities relating to non-traditional occupations should be facilitated in addition to access to finance and to local and global markets, ensuring rights, the changes in labor relations and patterns should not lead to reduction in levels of social pro production and workers' rights. Government should fully implement um, international standards. 
on gender equality uh, uh, name is CIDO and ILO gender equality conventions and establish functional monitoring mechanism. So these are the things some uh, organizations are working uh, and their policies, uh, how to uh, empower women in different countries, as I said in previous slides, and also in Bangladesh and also in the subcontinents, they are working on it, uh, how to uh, we empower women through different uh, schemes and uh, programs. So participation and collaboration, the participation in civil society, including trade unions and employer employers organization is necessary for the success of any policy process. Uh, social dialogue is a key pillar for decent work and should be explicitly recognized. Trade unions have a key role to play in empowering women and part particularly through uh, straightening uh, their uh, negotiation skills. Uh, and these are the things that policymakers should take, uh, different organizations and uh, overall the government of that particular country, they will take those steps to develop uh, employment of women uh, and how to empowering women and uh, you know uh, reduce the gender gap uh, between men and women. This is the main, uh, you know, this is the main thing here to talk about. So here it is the conclusion I came. So I think by now you all can get a clear idea for the importance of women's empowerment. Every good thing is needing an appreciation and honor. You can also honor the women who are uh, playing a significant role in your life. That is at your home, you should First of all, you should value your mother, your wife, your sister, whoever uh, at your home is women. Uh, you should value them, uh, appreciate them, and know their talents and encourage them to do good things. Uh, then only can uh, from home, if you can do this, then uh, you can make a better society. And overall, uh, in this world, women can do anything they want. Uh, hand in hand uh, with men. Uh, I think it's not hard uh, for them to do so. So I think uh, women need that courage and respect and you know participation in society and everywhere. So that's all from my side. I hope you liked and uh, thanks for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Farhana Hawk, for your brilliant presentation. And yes, uh, with you, we also uh, want that women should be respected in this society and uh, women should work with beside the man with uh, keeping their hands on their side. So thank you so much for your thank kind you. presentation. And please uh, keep with us. We will uh, again invite you later. Thank you. So, dear viewers, uh, feel free who are yet not uh, registered uh, for this webinar. Please, uh, the already the link in the co comment box. You just registered yourself, and before you register yourself, you just um, sign in the Google, and then you fill up the Google form. So now uh, I would like to invite Her Excellency Ambassador. Dr. Jessilyn Estera Argabayo, and uh, she is the Women Empowerment CEO and Founder Partners of Miss Heritage World Global Organization, the International Human Rights Social Justice Council Attorney Advocate General, and International Human Rights Commission Chairwoman of Philippines. And she had many and more collaboration internationally. And now, in this webinar, uh, uh, Ambassador Dr. Jessilyn wants to uh, speak on the women empowerment and is the force of We for We Women Empowerment Advocacy Highlights. So I would like to invite Dr. Jessilyn in our this webinar. How are you, ma'am? You are very much welcome to our this webinar, and we are glad to see here see you in this yes. platform. 
Yes, hello. Good evening. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I am hearing you yes. clearly and also see you. So, the ma'am, the floor is your. So, you, okay. you can just uh, speak your perception. Thank you. Okay. Um, first, I would like to say thank you to the CEO and founder of uh, IPRH or the International Perception and Research Hub. So thank you for this opportunity being here tonight and to meet this uh, different speakers with me, this outstanding ladies with me. Thank you. First, I would like to introduce myself. Again, for those who don't know me, I am the CEO and founder of the We for Women Empowerment. I am the International Human Rights Commission Chairwoman Philippines, the National Human Rights Social Justice Council Attorney Advocate General. And aside from that, I am handling different positions from the UN DESA. I am the present uh, Chairwoman of the UN DESA, Ambassador of the UNESCO, Philippines Arabic Calligraphy, UNICEF Honorary Council, and presently, Ambassador to the United Nation of the World Arab League Organization and a lot of responsibility aside from that. So, um, you know, when we started the We for Women Empowerment, that was way back 2013. As you can see, I did not use any any uh, any uh, video here for our slideshow because I want everybody to listen uh, when I speak, how was the We for Women Empowerment started in Asia and how it will run globally under our organizing strong team. That was way back 2013, 2014. We are starting the campaign for the We for Women Empowerment. Uh, we have this motto, education is a powerful tools for change. And now, as one of the United Nations advocates, top leaders in Asia, this is now the era, I believe, that given the same opportunities, women leaders has different character, different competencies to manage crisis better than male counterparts. I can really see that. Even how was the previous speakers uh, discussed, they, they triumphed. Every woman triumph, every situation that men believe it was unwinnable. When we all, when we educate a woman, you, you see in our society, in our nation, when we educate a woman, we already educate a nation. That is the essence and the concept of the women empowerment. And in relation to that, the SDG or the Sustainable Development Goals 4, we highlight the quality education techniques. We all know that education is a human rights. And me, as a human rights lawyer, I am handling different human rights institutions among Asia and global in seven continents. I stand among those women leaders standing for human rights, that education is a basic rights. If you agree with that, this is the force of the peacekeeping. Every organization that promotes and helps support the peacekeeping mission in global platforms, this is the force, the women empowerment and education. This is to ensure and build an inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote a lifelong learning tools and professional developments and the establishment of lifelong learnings and safe supportive system for the year 2030. To achieve this all, we always consider the three K pillars. This is very important. When you, you as a speaker, as a leader, I always say this. Every time I got the speakership, I really, I really mentioned that Three important key pillars. Don't forget to mention it every time you will talk about empowerment. We have to consider to access the quality teachers. They are the powerful tools. To use the quality life learning tools, the professional developments, and establishment of safe and supportive quality learning environments. That is the three key pillars for those educational institutions. That is very important. Education is the achievement of the SGD4. And it is, therefore, it has helped reduce inequalities, 
why is it very important that we we have to highlight the SGD4 or the education and the empowerment because this this is the only way and this is the force that that uh it, it reduced it breaks the cycle of poverty if you agree therefore it it reduces inequalities in and it it reach the gender inequality it it, it really prolong the the purpose of having this result to have gender equality in our society that this is it the, the women empowerment it is the force that empowers people everywhere to to live more sustainable and to attain a healthy life and a little uh, information about it uh, recently we are very committed with the un women because we are we have we I, I am directly having a zoom meeting conference time to time with the human rights council of america the ambassador of the united nations we we, we discuss all the time about the human rights issues in asia and in different uh countries where they reside in behalf of my entire organization and the women empowerment business principles uh taking a great role to empowerment of women it, it is through literacy, trainings, education, and professional development techniques. Aside from that, we also promote the personal development techniques, raising the standard and the status of a woman, and help to support and promote gender equality in family level and in the workplace, internally to the other colleagues and externally to the other CEOs and other leaders as well. This is... This is the reason why, as, as a CEO, me, myself, I, I really want to talk every CEO, every founder, every president, every leaders, every strong pillars in the society. Because this is our, our, uh, our uh, contribution. This is our counterparts to gather the strong support system from the other pillars of institution for the education, for the empowerment, for the development, and to all the, the advocacies that we have, to the educational institution leaders, to all the educators and other institutional business owners that boost the economy in our country. So I have a lot of things to say from uh, for, for, for all of you here, but since I have, oh, I have this five minutes to 10 minutes to speak, Uh, I think uh, it's a uh, network problem. So, uh, do you hear us, uh, Dr. Jesse? So, uh, I think uh, Dr. Jesse will very soon uh, again uh, connect with us. So, thank you so much for your uh, brilliant speech. And uh, now I would like to invite our next speaker, uh, Aston Professor Dr. Lulaz uh, N. Keluda Lunas from the University of Haxi Zika, Kosovo. And uh, today's uh, her presentation uh, topic actually uh, the uh, financial education and women empowerment. So, uh, Dr. Rulas, please uh, keep uh, unmute yourself. Uh, yes. So, uh, welcome to our uh, webinar. And I, uh, it is my glad to see you here. I know that you are very much busy with the, your schedule, uh, but uh, it's my honor that you are. Here now, so the floor is here. Okay, so I'm I'm just uh, sh uh, show your slides now. Yes, please. 
I thank you, dear. Okay? Yes, okay? it's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, greetings to all of you. Thank you so much for inviting me, Professor. Really, I'm very honored and very glad to be here. Um, so I will introduce, uh, introduce myself. I am Professor Enkeli Dalulai from state of the Kosovo. I work at the University Hajizeka Faculty of uh, Management in Tourism, Hospitality and uh, Environment. I am Professor of Finance and uh, Accounting. Just a moment. Uh, so uh, in this slide, you can see introduction, um, some general information for women, empowerment and financial education. Why financial education? So uh, first of all, um, uh, today I will talk about uh, a very specific uh, topic uh, that's uh, about uh, financial education and uh, women empowerment. Also, I will make a relationship uh, between the, uh, my scientific papers published in the Web of Science and Scopus as well. Uh, for women as a financial managers, which will be some of the achieves uh, they should keep in mind, but uh, at the same time, there is adv uh, advice uh, should are taken into account at all. Uh, women are the real architects of society for economic development. So I invite you to listen carefully because uh, there are uh, so many findings related to financial education from which uh, we'll uh, all learn. And final, finally, let's see of the women's about three, three groups or clusters uh, who needs the most financial advisors regarding uh, the financial transaction. Uh, so what about this, uh, this slide? In this slide, you can see general information for women, empowerment and financial education. As I am a professor of financial and uh, accounting, I will speak more about this, uh, this topic. Why financial education for women? Financial challenges specific to women or are students' loans a uh, woman's issues? Top financial missteps women takes or financial education strategies for women? What can women do collectively? A new point of view, the change basic attitude, learn a special skill. And what next? So, uh, so in this slide, you can see why financial educate uh, education for women. What about this uh, this slide? What is important about uh, this uh, this question? Why financial education for women? So, uh, in this uh, in this slide, you can see some question about uh, financial literacy. Uh, how is your current uh, financial health at your uh, family, uh, at your work as well? Is your family's future secure in case some things happen to you? Example about your work, and uh, are you investing enough to achieve all your financial goals at your plan? at your life, at your family as well, and do, uh, do your product tax planning uh, according to your plans, etc. So it's very, please uh, keep in mind because uh, it's very important for all women uh, to, to know more about financial uh, education, why financial education or financial literacy, and uh, what next? Uh, so financial challenge is specific to women. Women still carry on more responsibility than men do for taking care of their children, example, home or elderly parents. However, society has made a tradition in improvement engaging both sexes in raising a family. So how to? Uh, please keep in mind, uh, because it's very important, uh, there are a few of the financial challenges uh, specific to women. Example, women earns less over a lifetime, or a woman spend approximately 11 uh, to 13 years out of work, mostly raising the children and taking care of family matters. 
or example women like uh, life between five to seven years longer than men or uh, due to a lower income women end up with a little if any nest egg it's or 15 percent of senior women end up in poverty it's uh, what uh, what about uh, uh, this question so practice now uh, that you know some of the financial challenges that woman face uh, think of paying it forward and discuss your findings with a friend or a family member and uh, what next uh, are students loans a uh, woman's issues uh, over several decades the ratio of women studying in college has uh, increased significantly so while it is good that women have been getting more educational opportunities, this surge of female college or faculty graduates uh, come with a hefty price tag in students' loans. In the addition to the cost of education, debt to income ratio is the more and more serious uh, challenges once women enter repayment plans. It is estimated that uh, women spend between 8 to 20 percent of their yearly net income on students' loan requirement. So how to? A rule of thumb in financial literacy or financial education is to maintain a healthy budget. How to say? One of the principles is to limit total outstanding debt to 20% of total yearly net income. The idea of a superwoman is extremely unfair to women in projecting unreasonable acceptation and causing uh, tremendous pressure and stress as well, in addition to financial challenges. Now, uh, you know more about education carries a hefty price tag for both men and, and women as well. Think of paying it forward and discuss solution to uh, reign or uh, dominate the cost of education with a friend or a family member as well. And what next? In this slide, uh, you can see top financial missteps women take, uh, take. Please keep in mind, because it's very important to know more about uh, top financial missteps uh, uh, regarding women. So example, life is uh, full of choices uh, we make every, every day. But sometimes we might take a misstep that directly or indirectly uh, alters our destiny and future financial plans. How to? We all make some decision without seriously considering the negative uh, rep uh, reception we may receive if things do not go as planned. In this case, there are uh, some common missteps that the woman takes uh, regarding regarding their financial lives and they are, uh, as you can see in this slide, example, uh, another uh, example, the first of all, letting husband or partner manage the money without their involvement or uh, signing uh, income tax return without uh, fully, uh, fully understanding or reading it or uh, another missteps uh, to women uh, not having their own saving and uh, checking accounts or debit and credit cards or failing to identify debts in divorce or failing to protect future assets change of wills or uh, beneficiaries or not asking enough financial question or accepting data without uh, proper verification etc so uh, know that you know uh, many of the missteps that women take in making financial decision. Think about uh, 
uh, this uh, this question and discuss these challenges with a friend or uh, family members. And what next? So in this slide, you can see uh, you can see uh, financial education strategies for women. What uh, what about uh, this uh, this slide? What what is important? So there are many many strategies. Uh, how to say, to help women financially and guide them to financial security and Roman of women should be the crown uh, jewel of any financial plan. How to? So financial education about uh, women management, investing and protesting are not always offered at school or uh, university or faculty or available to, at home. So they uh, are left for each person to experience this. This information is uh, stumbled upon in many, many cases, but women learn uh, valuable life's uh, lesson through the process while, uh, how to say, desiring and save uh, a safe financial passage. So in this slide, you can see some steps about financial education strategies for women. Example, as uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, set financial goals and uh, evaluate your personal financial cycle at your uh, at your family members or at your work as well or adopt a budget and keep a pert, a pertinent records it's very important as well or adopt an emergency fund and use it wisely or establish a saving methodology for each goal for each goal at your personal life or always keep health and other insurance active or create an emergency financial kit and uh, keep all doc documents up to date. And what next? So uh, what can women do collectively? Uh, it's very important to work together because uh, together we can do more and it's very important to learn more together as a team or as a group as well. So some financial issues should be addressed individually by women, but uh, sometimes their collective power can help. Consider collectively uh, voicing concern and work on finding solution for a better life for all, all women. How to? So it is critical for every, every woman to educate on behalf of the old woman by discussing issues and topics related to women's lives and happiness as well. Here is a, uh, I would uh, talk more about some list for this, what can women do collectively and uh, example to receive the pay they deserve for equal work opportunities and condition or to receive receive adequate and uh, child and elderly care and uh, remain in the workforce or example to have access to quality flexible work schedules and paid family leave or uh, to receive uh, support through expanded tax uh, credits to meet the cost of raising a family etc so it's very important uh, to to keep in mind this uh, this question about what can women do collectively and what next? So as I mentioned before, I will make a relation uh, uh, with my scientific paper published in Web of Science. So you can see in this slide financial literacy or financial education. So why bu uh, budget education at women and households need for budget education, especially for women or need for a good financial manager. Uh, in this paper are included uh, this countries, uh, Kosovo, my state, Western Balkan countries and European Union countries. Example, Western Balkan countries, uh, Albania or Macedonia or Montenegro, etc. And, and the European Union countries are included uh, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, 
etc. So identify your variables, what identify feature does each group have, uh, and plus think about if they are identified by budget, uh, budget education. In this case, are included 14 variables. And what about results? Which group? Uh, has the best budget education, as I mentioned before, and uh, uh, the results uh, are um, from cluster analysis and uh, MDS or multidimensional analysis. So uh, uh, the field of personal finance, including planning, uh, consulting, and financial importance is a new and very, very important uh, profession for the country's economy, especially for women and financial stability as well. So in this slide, you can see that all variables are included in this uh, presentation. And uh, as I mentioned before, three cluster, Western Balkan, Union, uh, Union Europe, European countries and Kosovo. Uh, example, the variables about each profession in cons, sufficient information to make financial budget decision or awareness of the importance of financial assurance at uh, three groups or proper planning for the budgetary financial future or seeing many as an assistance after retirement. It's very important for all women or creating an emergency fund to overcome crisis or meeting budgetary financial needs for 1 to 12 months in a case of loss of work or ability to work for a while uh, for all women as well, especially in this time with pandemic. A registration of all transactions for budget incomes and for all transactions for budget expenses, saving and investing is very, very important for better well-being for all women and they need for a financial uh, advisor and budget practice control. More about uh, this question you will uh, learn uh, in the next line. So in this line, you can see... Um, you can see the uh, results. Example: What about the the uh, age? So all groups emphasize that is very important. Age is very important for budget management. While European Union countries emphasize that age is not important, but is the budget awareness uh, of the age group or higher value about uh, financial literacy for the importance of financial assurance has the. European Union countries than to Kosovo and uh, in the end is Western Balkan countries. And uh, in the uh, what uh, number four, or as I mentioned before, uh, incomes for all women. So all three observation have the same opinion that education and management helps to re uh, realize and save incomes. It means that well-being and financial stability do not depend on the amount of the incomes, but on the education and the budget management. So it's very, very important budget education or financial literacy and what next so also you can see the results about uh, question 7 8 9 11 uh, 10 11 and uh, other variables better planning for the financial future uh, they do uh, European Union countries and Kosovo but even Western Balkan countries is uh, not to uh, not too far from the first two observation or groups. What about the emergencies fund? So the emergencies fund in extreme cases are more like it from European Union countries, example, Germany or Switzerland or Sweden. And then is uh, Kosovo and in the end and uh, are Western Balkan countries. And what about the registration of all transactions for incomes and uh, uh, expenses? So Western Balkan countries has the lowest average after Western Balkan countries is Kosovo in the highest average has European Union countries. And what about the question number four, need for a financial manager or not practice and small Smaller budgetary financial control has Western Balkan countries, the woman from Western Balkan countries, and the higher value has the European Union countries. And about more about advisor to the item number. 
Third, in the need for a financial advisor in the three uh, groups or observation, Kosovo, European Union countries and Western Balkan countries has the same opinion. And uh, in this slide, you can see some recommendation about uh, my topic. So what should women do in the future? Uh, as, uh, as the main uh, recommendation, women of the three countries, Kosovo, Western Balkan countries and European Union countries need to increase budget awareness and uh, they need a financial advisor during the budget cycle. So it's very important for all women. Uh, also, you can see improvement for a site and uh, future thinking for your, your life and for your finance, uh, personal finance and for your family as well. And uh, this is my uh, presentation and thank you so much for your attention and uh, i hope you enjoyed my presentation as am i uh, uh, i am at my work with lectures with my students but uh, i am very open to to speak more or you can ask me everything you need for budget literacy or budget education dear professor thank you so much for for inviting me it's a great pleasure Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Lulas. Uh, and uh, you are presenting a nice presentation and it's also an academic presentation so far, I understand, because I'm also a professor of finance and economics yeah. and, and you are uh, presenting everything according to the survey. Uh, and uh, I think uh, you, uh, the, the audience in in our audience already many professors are here around the world, so they are appreciated you that you are presenting a very nice and good presentation. So thank you so much again, Professor Lulas, uh, to be with us. And uh, will, I hope that you will get connected with us, and we will again invite you thank you thank you. dear viewers uh, i think the webinar is very much interesting now because now i am inviting our webinar chair and discussant uh, dr nuriani puan nuriani binte yup uh, director open university malaysia and uh, now madam will discuss about the women empowerment challenges and strategies so i am welcoming uh puan nuriani binte yup madam you are most welcome in our this webinar and we are very much happy to see you in this webinar because you are our webinar chair and discussion and uh, the floor is your madam and i hope that our audience will get more benefited from your presentation from your perception thank you inshallah, inshallah. yes the flo floor is your okay bismillahirrahmanirrahim assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and mubarak to everyone um my name uh, they just let me introduce myself yeah um Hold on, yeah. I just want to see my slide. Uh, my name is uh, Noraini Binti Yop. Um, I was born many years back here. Yeah. Um, my, I have a uh, seventeen years of experience in um, industrial line, and for the last uh, twelve years, I've been involved in education line. So. Um, with the vast experience uh, to both in industrial and education line, uh, perhaps it will benefit to all women, young women out there to improve themselves or to encourage themselves to become a better woman each day. Yeah. So the topic of the, before I proceed to any further, I would like to uh, thanks to uh, Professor Sharia, Muhammad Sharia Faris, and from the Independent Perceptions and Research Hub. Yeah? So my, my great pleasure to accept the, this invitation uh, with the busy schedule, with the Eid Mubarak and everything, with my kids and all. So um, thanks so much for the invitation. 
So uh, for the topic of today, we would like to, to further uh, discuss or further talk about the women empowerment challenges and strategies. So um, I just would like to have a little quote here, a, a small quote here. A woman is a full circle within her is a power to create, nurture and transform. So it's very important, a woman in everybody's life, every man, every woman started uh, with a woman. Yeah, we, we, the both uh, combinations of men and women have then uh, made us visible in this life. Yeah, so we should be thankful to our mother and father for bringing us the, the chance to giving us the chance to be in this life and also thankful to Allah for giving us the soul to be uh, fulfilled in this world. Inshallah, yeah. So, so societies that empower women are less violent in every way. So, we are very important that um, societies plays the the most important role to empower women. Yeah? We we are not a, we are not we should not violent to anybody, so that we can have everyone in this world share the same knowledge, the same uh, benefits, and the same. Uh, uh, what we have in this world, yeah. So from the data, I have I have uh, do some readings. Yeah, this is the reading is from the, the the data that I've collected. That the top three issues facing by Malaysian women and also globally women are first are the sexual harassment, two is the sexual violence, and three is the sexualization of women in media. So if you can see from the data here, um. We also have physical violence, balancing works and carrying responsibilities, workplace discrimination, gender stereotyping, support of pregnant women and new mothers, domestic abuse and lack of women in leadership roles. So both in Malaysia and global, we are having the same issue. So meaning that we have to put uh, women uh, up to a certain standard so that we could have sorted out all these problems. Okay, and other challenges for women in this world is the balancing of work and caring responsibilities, gender stereotyping, support for pregnant women and new mothers, and lack of women in leadership roles. I would like to further talk about the sexual harassment, violence, and sexualization in media. So, uh, as of report, 68% in Britain has mentioned about this sexual harassment, violence, and sexualization in media. 44% reported in Malaysia and 57% reported in India. So 50% of the sexual harassment report were being ignored. So meaning that if there is a sexual harassment report to the police or to the higher authority, so 50% of the report has been ignored. Yeah. So why this happened? So we have to, to make sure that... Uh, the local authority and also the global authority take note of this um, report so that everybody will be taken care of. Yeah, 50% stops the issues with family. From all the issues of the sexual harassment, violence and sexualization in media, only 50% will talk with the family. And 30% aren't talk about it. So they are keeping it to themselves. So when they are keeping it to themselves, this are also will give... Um, uh, mentally uh, disturbed to them, uh, emotionally disturbed to them, and sometimes it will become a psychology effect to them. Yeah? So that sexual harassment would end if simply the woman told the man to stop. So sometimes when when women face of this uh, sexual harassment issue, uh, maybe through social media or through whatever media terms of they, they had it, and if the woman are strong enough or the, the woman are solid enough to say to the man, please stop doing this, so the issues will be solved in that manner. So as a woman, I would like to encourage, or I would like to, to, to share this for you as a young age. Yeah? Uh, so if you have faced all these issues or you have faced such uh, uh, harassment um, in your day-to-day -day life, please be strong enough or be brave enough to tell to the other party to stop that harassment so that you can carry out your life peacefully. Okay, so and in a business leadership, 19% uh, reported as a female CEO, 
Yeah, not many. Yeah? 19, 19% is very little. 61% globally agreed that things would be better at work if women held high positions and responsible in government and private companies. So 61% globally has agreed that if a woman hold a high position in organization, the, the company will be taken care of gratefully. Yeah? So 50% agree with a bird statement in Malaysia. So out of with that statement, 50% of our population have also agreed that in Malaysia for the business leadership. So uh, chances for you to become a CEO or to become a higher level uh, in the management are uh, there yeah, for women, inshallah. So empowering women is the key to building a future we want. So it's very important. We want to build your country. You want to build your society. You want to build a strong uh, organization. Uh, please empower more women so that when they are holding a good position, when they manage the organization, you are building a good future. Yeah. So other challenges that faced by uh, women are access to education. As UNESCO report, 31 million girls of primary school were not at school. So this is a very bad numbers. Yeah. So meaning when 31 million girls of primary school were not at school means there are so many left out of school. So many women are not able to get a chances to be in school. So many women are not able to get an education, a proper education. So when they are not getting a proper education, where are we leading them? Where are we guiding them towards the future? Yeah. So if you are looking about 2030 vision, we need to have everybody to be educated. Yeah. We have to put this vision and clearly, and we have to work on the mission to ensure that lesser women to be left out or non women to be left out in the education. Yeah. This 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 establishes a huge pool of untapped girl power. So when 31 million girls are not at school, so we are unable to tap the girl powers. So when most more girls go to school, we can see they are more uh, education level uh, better. So employment opportunities, we talk about employment opportunities. Many, we have heard so many and we have new so, so many issues that women are always underpaid. Yeah? Women earn... Uh, 0 0.77 for every earn of one dollar earned by men so there is a gap in 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 the in the earning so why is this happen yes when we have declared or we have mentioned that women works better than men so why are uh, the salary range is not is not being given fair enough to the woman yeah so gender gap is wider in most of the country so we have to ensure that uh, we knew that uh in, in, in Islam, uh, we have to recognize men as our imam. Yeah? So, but in order for education level, in order of uh, educating the, the communities, we have to recognize women because they are the, 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 the most powerful um, team or the most powerful person that can educate uh, a good person in the world. Yeah. So women only one over 10 of the total income with two thirds of the working hours. So meaning we, we, we work more hours, but we earn a little income. So maybe we have to talk about this more so that uh, we have to highlight the importance of uh, bringing the gap of the men and women. Yeah. Okay, other challenges, reproductive health and rights, 225 million, 225 million in developing countries have an unmet need for family planning. This is also too bad because when they don't have a good planning, they will also, uh, their, their health will also uh, disturb. Yeah? 74 million unplanned pregnancies, 36 million abortions every year. So when we look at the figures, when we look at these numbers, so this is not fair enough to a woman. So meaning we don't fight fight good enough to, to support the woman or we don't fight good enough to make sure that all this uh, will be taken care of so that we can have a good woman out there. Yeah? So we have to try. We must work towards, as a woman, we should to, together work to, to reducing all these figures, inshallah. 
Okay, other challenges, gender bias, uh, gender-based violence, one over three women experience physical or sexual violence in their lifetime. So why is this happen? Why why women has still been violence yeah, in their lifetime? So we have to stop all this. Yeah, Denies too many women the opportunity to live happy, healthy, and fulfilling lives. Yeah, The child marriage, 140 million girls will become child brides between 2011 and 2020 married at a very young age this is also not good for the societies yeah girls married before age are typically denied an education of course when they married early their education will drop yeah at risk of complication related premature childbearing and intimate partner violence so when they married young they don't have uh they are, they are not mature enough uh, they, they maybe they are not able to get a full support from their partner yeah so all this we have to to look into it uh, seriously so that we could take care of the woman for the future inshallah so when we invest in women and girls we are investing in the people who invest in everyone else so believe me trust me if you invest put a good investment into a woman you are putting an investment to everyone else in the world because a woman starts uh, from at home, we, we we give birth to the child, we educate the child, we take care of the kids, we make the kids grown up, and the kids grown up into to become a, a a good person. So we are protecting the world to ensure that everyone's are putting in place nicely. Women empowerment strategies: we have to support girls and women in crisis. These are a few strategies that I collected. Yeah. So we have to support girls and women in crisis. The problem with women sometimes is we are not supporting our women. We we try not to support the girls. We are not try not to support we uh, the women. We certain times we 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 involve envy into them by right. We as a woman we should gather. We should team up. We should empower each other to make sure that all the girls and women too become better and better each day yeah millions of girls are subjected to abuse child labor trafficking and others offenses so why is this still happen in this uh, modern world in this modern uh, modern country so we are still abusing the the women we are still having the child labor we are still trafficking them and we still uh, have other offenses towards them so we have to stop all this to ensure that we give a full support to girls and women and men especially you have to support us and you are not supposed to uh, do a bad things to us yeah protecting the girls and women by training counseling medical care and other benefit supports of course when we want them to to we want to support them we have to protect them we have to give them training we have to counseling them and we have to put a medical care and also other benefit benefits that are suitable for them to ensure that the full support is given to girls and women and they are happily in this world so mentoring a girl close to your home so when you have your neighbor when you have anybody close to your home you have to be a mentor when you are elderly or you are a bit uh, higher level than they are so we try to get all these girls to mentor them to guide them, to uh, to motivate them to become a better woman, to become a better uh, ladies. Yeah. So mentoring girls who help back from by poverty, poor performing schools, and teen violence. So we have to, as a woman, as an elderly woman, we have to ensure that we do this to all these girls so that they are enjoying their life and nothing would happen to them. Reach out and influence the life of a girl in your own community by volunteering as a tutor or mentor. So by doing this actually sometimes we 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 when we want to do certain good things to the community uh, some people always ask for 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 reward yeah so be bear in mind that anything you do anything good they say we have done to the society or the community if not be reward to this world allah will reward you in the next of your life yeah inshallah so i always believe that well uh, to share the knowledge, to share my my experience, and to share the the, the good uh, deeds to everyone out there, uh, it's not that I want I want to have a reward in in this world. I believe that the reward Allah will give me uh, if after I leave this world. Yeah. 
So other women um, empowerment strategies are also wise to help girls in school, try to talk to the school, go to the schools and try to give a talks or give a, a motivation words. Yeah. When girls stay and finish secondary school, a lot of good things happen to them and their families. 130 million girls aged 3 to 7 are out of school. So we still have to take care of these 130 million of girls. We need to reduce these figures so that more girls go to school. When they go to school, they get education. When they get education, they can become a better person. Yeah, Your support can help more adolescent okay. girls to stay around and receive high quality of education. So look into the eyes of these girls. Bear in mind that you need to educate them so that they will, when they're grown up, they become a good person and they can contribute more to the community and the country and, in fact, to the world, inshallah. You learn how to take care of people from the woman in your life. So this is a, a, a words from, from him, yeah, from Mampet, uh, all said that we need to take care of the, he, he learned how to take care of a, a person, for people from the woman in his life. So this is very true because um, uh, when women give love, women provides uh, you uh, 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 the loves and also a, a shelter or a, a combination of uh, take care, caring. Yeah? So all this make you become a better person. Write a note to thanks to your teacher who encouraged you years ago. So you can do this to encourage, uh, to thank someone that have given you the knowledge before. Pick up a coffee for new mom in your office who's struggling to balance it all. You can help your friends in the office. Tell your mother, your daughter, your sister, your mother-in-law, whoever, that how much you appreciated them. Because life is not long. Take all the opportunities to appreciate them. Take all the opportunities to tell them that how much you appreciated them and how much you have loved them. So that they know what you believe in them. Okay. There's nothing stronger than a broken woman who has rebuilt herself. So this I would like to, to tell to all women out there. When there are some things hurts you, when there are something broken you, so don't feel, feel that 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 is the end of your world. Yeah, don't feel that when anything hurts you, you are not strong enough. You have to be stand up. You have to wake up. You have to motivate yourself so that you can rebuild yourself again. You have to ensure that when there is uh, anything that disturb you or anything that make you cry, always feel good. Of always build your strength again so that you can face the world, you can face the future brightly. So it's not anything that happened to you. It's something that end of your world, end of your life, because you have always cautioned yourself that if anything happened to the ones that you love or anything happened to your spouse or anything happened to your, your loved one, you must be able to... to wake up yourself yeah so i'm just giving an example that if let's say for the young ladies yeah if let's say you have a boyfriend yeah or you have your marriage and your marriage is broken so be strong enough that maybe allah have fated you not with that man yeah so that's why you have to rebuild yourself to make it stronger and go for a better future so she overcome everything that was meant to destroy her. So if anything come to you, anything that you feel that something came through your life, something came through in front of you, means to destroy you, you have to make sure that you can overcome all that. Yeah, It's easy to say, it, but sometimes difficult to handle. But I believe with a good um, thinking and with a strong mind, you will be able to handle all this, inshallah. Be strong enough to let go and wise enough to wait for what you deserve. In, in certain circumstances, uh, I always relate this because sometimes women are a little bit weak when uh, they have um, they have missed uh, their husband or they have missed uh, they have a broken marriage or they have a broken uh, heart with their boyfriend. Yeah? So sometimes women are not strong enough uh, to 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 handle all this issue yeah? some some have committed suicide for this also yeah so but 
believe me if you are strong enough to let go because that is not fated for you Allah has pulled it out from you believe that yeah and be wise enough to wait for the next one that you deserve yeah you don't have to be worried that if that one person go you don't have another person if they want person go you might have another hundred person waiting for you yeah so be strong enough when whatever you are in whatever condition you are now i'm just highlighting this to all women out there if anything happened to you right now at the moment be strong enough to let go let allah fit you yeah on this allah will take care of you then be strong enough to wait for nights you deserve yeah inshallah so believe me there's nothing is permanent in this world and you have to caution yourself that in this world uh, for your partner if allah does not take your partner someone else will take your partner so be prepared for any circumstances so that you are strong enough to rebuild yourself from any damages that you have in life yeah okay uh, i just would like to share another course a king will always turn pain into power so any pain that you have any uh, disturbance that you have in life uh, in circumstances that maybe your friends your woman friends are also disturbing you or human friends are also hitting you with a certain certain words you must always turn the pain into power you must always ensure that all the pain that you have collected around all along your life turn into power and make you become a successful woman inshallah okay a strong woman will automatically stop trying if she feels unwanted she won't fix it or back she will just walk away so trust allah the most trust god for the most yeah for i'm not religious of a muslim yeah uh, i i'm a muslim so i trust allah the most i always believe that if i feel unwanted by someone else i will not face i will not back i will just walk away and i know there was something else waiting for me yeah so be strong enough in your life be strong enough in your your day-to-day -day life be strong enough to build a next future of your life so that you can become a very successful woman and you can become a very strong woman so women should be empower each other we should take care of each other we should make sure that our next woman will be stronger than us inshallah okay thank you that's i end my presentation so anything to contact me can contact through my uh, email that is noraini underscore yop at oum.edu.my my facebook is noraini yop my instagram is noraini y and my link is noraini yop so thank you so much everything good is confirmed from allah everything back is from me as a human being thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> Thank you so much, madam. You have a, such a beautiful, uh, I think it's not a presentation, it's our daily life because you yeah. are representing our daily life because this has happened in this uh, world, in this, uh, uh, in every society, we are feeling this kind of thing uh, here. So I am now uh, uh, inviting each of my uh, speakers who are actually uh, speak their perception in this uh, beautiful platform and uh, many professors uh, around the world actually observe this webinar and they uh, just personally give me the text that it's a beautiful webinar and each of the speakers have such a great power in their voice and they are really uh, just uh, scrutinize the uh, pinpoint how can the woman youth an empowerment in uh, the vision of 2030. So uh, I have all of, uh, uh, give my vote of thanks all of you, especially uh, our uh, session chair, Juan Nuriani Binti Yup. Uh, Madam, I give my vote of thanks from my heart to you and also Dr. 
uh, ambassador dr jc lanester argabayo uh, such a beautiful present here because you are today here with us and also professor dr lulas and uh, professor hayat husni and uh, our another speaker already texts me that uh, she has some work so she is not um, uh, connected with us so i have one question uh, that uh, to uh, our session chair that uh, if uh, um, uh, women want to uh, become a uh, entrepreneur in their lives then how can uh, they will uh, see uh, this life that uh, many women do not come to in this field many women do not want to come as an entrepreneur uh, so how can they feel that uh, they, yes i want to become an entrepreneur so uh, can you please uh, share something about it and, and after you i think uh, uh, ambassador dr jc also uh, says something on this issue and also our other speakers also say this issue this please oh okay for entrepreneur i think uh, professor uh, sharias if you said that woman uh, not able to become entrepreneur i think this is a wrong statement we have a lot of entrepreneur from women yeah we have so many successful entrepreneur from women yeah we believe that um by doing this because i also an entrepreneur so that's it because if you said that women are, are not able to become entrepreneur or lack of entrepreneur from women uh, i think this is not a true statement maybe maybe we are not surface enough yeah we are not surface enough but we are in the entrepreneur field inshallah <laughs> inshallah inshallah yes basically i said that many women thinks that they will not become a entrepreneur in this society but it is totally wrong you are already clear it also uh, now i go to uh, uh, the ambassador dr jc please can you uh, say something on this issue that how can a uh, can a woman become an entrepreneur in the society Yes, um, me also, I can give my personal experience. I am an entrepreneur. I, I've never been uh, as an employed woman. And during I started the Women Empowerment, I always empowered young entrepreneurs in business sectors through a, uh, entrepreneurship business, like a small micro-entrepreneurship business, because it, it is very good that we will encourage young generation to get into business in their early age instead of uh, focusing some other uh, activities. Like, it is something very essential. Me, myself, I am a scholar. I send myself to education. That's why I teach my youth, my fellow youth, my, 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 uh, my young youth as as in Southeast Asian International Director in uh, International Youth Society, I have teach several young entrepreneurs in health and business sectors. When I was in, in high school, since college, when I engaged in entrepreneurship from small business to big business. So it, it is very good that we, we encourage them to start small. It is all where it all starts started from the small business to big business until they will reach what they wanted to because if you are teaching the young generation into business like you are teaching them the mentality to be their own boss you empower them holding their time giving their time and saving their energy you empower them how to build and how to raise their status in the society especially because in business we are earning my education in the young generation so that sir <laughs> no. thank you thank you so much uh, now I, you, uh, you. I would like to like to uh, invite professor hayat husni please um, uh, if you just share your opinion about these issues 
Yes, sure. I'm not entrepreneurship, but I have an uh, idea about it. But as a doctor, uh, M- Ambassador uh, Jesse said, we can uh, 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 teach uh, uh, since young age uh, our uh, students or uh, even at home. We can begin by a, a little bit of a small uh, uh, a project, then we can do best in um, uh, future. So when we plan uh, carefully and uh, when we we do a good plan, we can do it. We can be entrepreneurship in many uh, sectors also. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Professor Welcome. Lulas. Are, uh, are you with us? Um, uh, I, uh, if you uh, with us, then please, I want to uh, ask this issue on you, if you have time to discuss this issue. Uh, basically, Professor Lulas uh, busy with uh, her classes. So uh, I think uh, she is already busy with uh, her classes. So uh, thank you so much again. Uh, and uh, dear viewers, uh, this is our uh, simple webinar, but it's a very powerful webinar so far, I think, because the woman, youth and empowerment uh, vision 20 30. Without women, it's not possible to gain the sustainable development in your culture, in your society, in your country, or in your state. Without women, it's not possible to bring a happy family with your home. So I give my salute to every and each woman in this world, in this society. And uh, in 8 May, we have the Mother's Day. So my, in the Mother's Day, I give my great uh, gratitude to each and every mothers who are uh, being a happy family with them. And I give my vote of thanks to all of you become a great uh, resource speaker in my webinar in the webinar of independent perception and research hub so dear viewers we are almost end of this session so feel free fill up your registration form for your e certification and hope that you earn some educational perception from and thoughts from this webinar because iprh always believes that knowledge is power so be happy, be healthy, and all the way join with independent perception and research up by following our Facebook page and subscribe our YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Bye. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stay safe.